Hello friends, welcome to CodeChef. This is Suraj and in this video, let's discuss this problem true and false paper from July lunchtime 2022. Now let's understand the problem statement. So here in this problem, it is given that Alice wrote an exam containing total n true or false question. Okay, so question can be answered in only two way. One will be correct and another will be incorrect. Okay, uh, so each question is worth one marks and there is no negative marking in examination. So if answer is correct then we'll get plus one otherwise we'll get zero and here it is given that alice scored k marks out of n so the score of alice here is k out of n and now uh, bob wrote the same exam but he marked each and every question as the opposite of what alice did so for let's say if question number one alice marked true then bob will mark false Okay, and if in question number two, let's say if Alice marked false, then Bob will mark two. So whatever Alice will mark, Bob marked opposite of it. So here uh, we are given the marks of Alice, that is K. We need to find out what is the marks of Bob. Okay, so in the question, uh, we are given the answer, whatever answer, uh, whatever the score Alice is getting after this uh, examination, we are given this, that is k and we need to find out what will be the score of bob so we need to find this now let's see the input and output structure so in the input first of all we'll get total number of test cases that is that is t and then for each and every test case we just get two line uh, one line and each line we get two integer and that will be n and k value of n and k respectively here n is the total number of question and k is the score of alice and here is the second test case here n is equals to 50 and k is 0 and this is the third test case where n is 100 and k is 76. Now let's see the output. So in the output for each and every test case we just need to print one line and that will be one integer and that will be the score of Bob. So we need to print score of Bob in output. So now let's see the test cases. So here in the first test case the value of n is 1. Okay here the value of n is 1 and uh, value of this k that is the score of alice is also one so in short there is only one question uh, which can be answered whether it is true or false okay and whatever alice marked alice marked it correctly so alice got full marks here so this is correct so bob will mark opposite of that so surely if alice got correct then bob will get incorrect so if alice got one marks that is one out of one then Bob will get zero in this first test case. So answer is zero. Now let's see the second test case in which there are total 50 questions and the score of Alice is zero. It means Alice marked all the incorrect options. Okay. So whatever now Bob will mark that will be exactly opposite of what Alice has marked. So here Alice marked all incorrect. So Bob will indirectly mark all correct options so bob will mark all correct so the score of alice is zero then the score of bob will automatically will become 50 that is out of so the output for second test case is 50 now let's see the third test case here the total number of questions are 100 and out of which alice marked 76 as correct okay so the whatever remaining question will be that uh, that will be marked as correct by bob because bob will mark opposite so whatever alice got correct Bob will get incorrect. Okay. So answer will be simply 100 minus 76. So that will get 24. So the output of the third test case is 24. So now let's discuss the approach. So we are given n that is total number of question and k that is marks of Alice and indirectly it is the total number of question marked as correct by Alice. Okay. So the total number of question marked as correct by Bob will be simply n minus k. So the score of Bob will be simply equal to n minus k because marks for each question is simply uh, four mark, uh, sorry one marks okay. So one correct question gives one marks. So the score of Bob our final answer here will be simply equals to n minus k. I hope you understood logic to this problem but still if you have any doubt now you can use this uh, new feature in CodeChef that is CodeChef's doubt support. So let me just show you how you can use this new feature. So let's say you go to this practice section and uh, let's say I pick any problem. So let's let me pick this uh, age limit problem. 
then here in this problem let's say i'm stuck and i'm unable to understand this problem or you may uh, get any confusion so what you can do here is you can go to this ask a doubt section and here you can chat with our experts so let me start this new chat and here i'll ask a simple question so let me ask So here you can see that uh, my doubt is answered and similarly you can also ask your doubts in the doubt support and get the answers quickly. So this doubt support will be available 24 by 7. So you can ask any doubt re uh, regarding this problem and the experts will be there to answer your questions. Here is the implementation in C++. So first of all I am accepting T the total number of test cases then I am calling solution function for each and every test case and here in the solution function i'm accepting the value of n and k and then here i'm simply printing n minus k that will be the score of bob and here is the similar implementation in python so first of all i'm accepting t the total number of test case then i'm calling solution function for each and every test case and in the solution function i am accepting the value of n and k and simply then i'm printing the uh, n minus k that will be the score of bob so i hope you understood the logic and its implementation in both c++ and python in case you have any doubt feel free to write in the comments so let's meet in another video thank you so much